Magnus, final training ride before the longest race day of the year. How do you mentally prepare for a race that's uh, 300 k's long? Uh, it's a tough one. Uh, yeah, hopefully we have good weather, uh, so that will make it a bit easier. And also, yeah, fingers crossed for some tailwind to make it go a bit quicker. But yeah, it'll be close to seven hours uh, on the pedals, so it'll be a long one. But yeah, it's. I think it's important just to en enjoy the scenery maybe a bit. Uh, it'll probably be one of the longest rides I've done. It'll be yeah, full on into the Suppressa and Poggio. Um, but yeah, it's about just saving as much energy as possible. From what you know of this race and what you've heard about it, what's going to be the key tomorrow, do you think? The key point? Oh, it's always, yeah, there's quite a bit of uh, tunnels and like pinch points uh, the closer we get to San Remo. Um, but it's really going to be really key to stick together with the guys, uh, bubble up and uh, yeah, hopefully we can come into the key sectors all together uh, so we can really use the numbers uh, and use our strength to our advantage. I just need to give them a bit of morale. You know, had him in the ropes and stuff like that, but got to look after these young guys. But, but, but sorry, what was the result? The result, it doesn't matter about the result, does it? It's about the process and just looking after him. Absolute <laughs> It doesn't matter about the result, it matters about the process. We had a game of chess. You claim to be the best of the team. Fair one. Sorry, 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 sorry. Sometimes the, the king's got to call on it. King's still standing. <laughs> <laughs> James Forsyth, chef extraordinaire. Longest day on the bike probably for most of these guys in the entire season. What have they had for breakfast to keep them fueled for, for seven hours? Our uh, breakfast today has been uh, a large plate of rice. Um, we've had some eggs, some omelets. Uh, porridge, overnight oats. I've made cotta pancakes. A wrappers, which is a South American type cornbread. Um, we've probably had a bit of toast as well to supplement all of that, so uh, carbs all over the place. Matteo, just remind us how many Milano San Remos did you start? <laughs> uh, I think for the riders, 70, 70 times, and uh, for the Asha, I don't remember, three or four times, uh, a lot. And what does this race mean to you, but also to Italy in particular? But uh, for me, it's a special race because uh, Milan Slam the first monument of the year. Uh, today is super nice weather. Uh, I think in the end, it's a very good day. Uh, beautiful day, long sea. And uh, yeah, long day, the more longer race of the year. I think uh, today is a good day for us. And what is the morale in the, in the team like, in the group of riders? No, the group, uh, I have uh, super seven strong riders. Uh, Filippo already, also Kiatowski, after the good uh, Tirreno Adriatico. But uh, in general, I have, um, the, the group is super uh, strong and they're ready for the, for the final. Swifty, a lot of experience on this bus for Milan San Remo, but you've got three debutants. What would yeah. your word of advice be to, to Kim, uh, Johnny and to Magnus? Get ready for a long day. You know, it's like, it's a long day, day in terms of kilometers, but the hours is all right, still quite long, but it's not like uh, a Flanders or something like that. And we do a lot of long days in training as well, but uh, it's different. It's a bit boring at the start, so you've got to handle that as well, and then it just progressively gets quicker. So. You've been twice on the podium here. Um, what does this race mean to you? It's special, you know, it's, uh, it's one of the first races that I saw I was capable of results like that. So, you know, we've got guys that have won it as well, so it's going to be a good day and uh, we're ready to give it a good go. Felipe, how are you feeling for today? I feel spring sunshine for the 114th edition of Milan San Remo. 294 kilometers from Abiato Grasso to the traditional finish on the coast in San Remo. It was Jumbo Visma and Wout van Aert who finally brought the breakaway back 
And then onto the Poggio, UAE Team Emirates took it up by Tim Wellens, setting up a big move from Tadej Pogacar with 6.6 kilometers to go. Pogacar, close to the top then, continued to apply the pressure, this time prizing a group of four riders clear, including Filippo Ganna, who got round Sonkrau Anderson, Wout van Aert and Mathieu van der Poel. A classy ride from Van der Poel, a very classy ride from Filippo Ganna to finish second, ahead of Wout van Aert in third, and Tadej Pogacar boxed out of the podium places in fourth. Filippo, incredible ride. Um, team meeting last night. There was a clear plan and it nearly came off today. Yeah, I think with, uh, with the guys, with the Tozo, we uh, tried to do the best plane ever. So I need to say just a big thank to the guys and the team for the support. I tried to do something well, obviously. Uh, the race is the race. Uh, the plane sometimes it doesn't work, but uh, today it's really clean. Uh, it's uh, do the lead out before the Chipres, uh, before the podge, then uh, I say I try with my legs to do something. Just uh, Mathieu is uh, arriving in the front, but uh, yeah, I can say just thank you to the guys, the team, and uh, we see you next week. And you were disappointed when you finished, but uh, I guess that was an immediate reaction. Now, when you look back at it, it's uh... yeah, a little bit disappointing. I think uh, everyone for the second place uh, is the first of the loser, so. Maybe now I'm a little bit disappointed. Maybe tomorrow I can say, oh, I'm a right second in the, in the stream.